My name is Indigo. I'm an artist based in Vancouver. I mostly am working with stencils and spray paint currently. Um, I paint on walls, murals, I paint on canvas and woodboard, and I paint on paper and make posters to put up around the world. Right now I'm really interested in exploring environments that don't typically have a lot of street art. That's going to be on my new album. I think putting up posters in places like this is unexpected. It doesn't happen as often. I don't see a lot of other people doing it. it makes me happy <laughs> being in nature. Placement is really key in terms of the overall impact of the art. Um, and I think environments like this provide so much variety. Little nooks and crannies you can hide things in. A uh, commission, or part of a commission. Lots of little owl stencils. They're going to be making up one larger piece. So I don't use a computer to separate out my layers. I hate Photoshop. <laughs> it drives me crazy. We're painting a mural at Abbott and Hastings. And this little girl is going to be about nine feet tall. And so I have to pull the projector all the way back there and use a ladder. <laughs> I am inspired by people more so than anything else. Most of my work is people. I tend to be more interested in things that are somewhat melancholy. I think a lot of that comes out of my current studio location. I'm right in the heart of the downtown east side. And I mean, it's not like it's all bad. There's a lot of good people there. And, but it's still a place where it's kind of hard to be sometimes. I mean, there's a lot of sadness. I have a lot of heart, I think. I put everything I have into it. I work really, really hard. This is all I do, and it's all I want to do. At the end of the day, it's about the work. Um, it is, of course, like any other industry, about who you know and, you know, getting yourself out there, but if the quality of your work, if you can't stand behind that, um, if the work doesn't speak for itself without it being about who the artist is, about your name, then you don't really have anything. <laughs> There's infinite possibilities, and I'm just on the brink of something really big and I it's 
it's been building up over the past couple of years, especially last year, and now coming into this year, I feel like things are just falling into place, and um, a lot of that has to do with the people around me. They're super inspiring, and it goes back to like giving back to your network as much as you can expect them to help you. You've got to help them, and I feel like I'm trying to do both. If you believe that you're going to get somewhere and you work as hard as you can on your end to make it happen, then it's going to work out, but probably not how you expected. <laughs> magic all the way. <laughs> Life is magic. Hey, do you play... No, I don't. No, no, no.